happening? Yeah, what's happening? What's that? That's it, you got it. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of What's Happening? So let's just jump right into this. Uh, at this point, you guys have seen the orange hot side. You see me fire up the car. You saw the boy hit the twin bago, and I had to bribe him with a Hot Wheel, by the way. He didn't want to do it. I'm like, just go in there and turn it on. He doesn't do anything else. But um, so the car runs. I am still not out of the woods. Today, by the time you guys see this, it's going to be, what, Thursday, I think. I wasted all afternoon trying to get a an axle seal for my axle. I've got a leaking axle on the driver's side and I pulled it out and apparently I didn't even put a seal in. I just silicone the bearing and put it in and thought that would uh, keep it from leaking and apparently it doesn't. So I need to get a seal. I drove all over the place and finally I'm going to break down and just go to Curry tomorrow. Um, I'm not a big fan of Curry Enterprises. so. Um, it is what it is, but they have I know they have an axle seal and I can just get it and they'll give me the right one And then life will be good So I'll just go in there with my head down and get an axle seal that will work and then we will be good So other than that the only thing I have left to do on the car I got tires today, so the front runners will go on I had a lug nut fiasco. We figured that out. So by tomorrow the thing should sit on the ground under on its own four wheels it runs uh, we could fill the transmission the rest of the way. I put a few gallons in just to start it, but I can put fluid in the transmission, make sure it goes back and forth. And then I pretty much have zero sort of a tune in it. Like it fires up and runs, so we'll see how we go. But we're trying to head to the track on Sunday. And with that being said, speaking of the track, uh, Drag Week just got canceled. And that is super concerning to me because LS Fest starts the day... Um, well, Drag Week was supposed to start the day LS Fest ended, I believe, or the day after LS Fest ended. And I looked up the stuff. I don't know. Any of you guys are in Kentucky, you can let me know. But apparently they're in like phase three is what Google told me, I think. So there's like no gatherings, more than 50 people, yada, yada, so on. Well, that doesn't put us in a good spot for a major event with fans and racing and fun. And I'm just a little disheartened on the whole thing because I've really put a lot of effort in. Um, I'm still just going to go to the Gusto, finish this damn thing. I'd like to make a good video, still do burnouts and all that stuff with it. But I really, really want to take it out. And it's out of my control, obviously. We're all in the same boat. I mean, pretty much the whole damn world is in the same boat at this point. But um, I guess with that being said, you know, I'm open to some suggestions and ideas from you guys. I guess if I can't drive that to Kentucky... Um, obviously, you know, there, there's other things I can spend money in, on and whatever, but I like building, but I really kind of like racing. I don't really want a street race. I know everybody likes street racing and all that, but honestly, I'm not trying to kill myself. I got a family. Um, I don't feel like going to jail. You know, it's not very fun to go to jail. So, um, if there's events, I'm thinking somewhere that I could drive to that it's a decent distance. I think everything in California is just going to be a wash. My, um, the other thing too... Speaking of that, and the other reason I'm a little Debbie Downer is, so my local quarter mile track, which is Fontana, they announced today as well, they're closed the rest of the year. So there will be no quarter mile racing, um, at least at my local place. Uh, my local track has a test in tune. They've got a no prep race and uh, there's like some other things scheduled. And I think they're kind of like back to back. And that was scheduled before this whole deal started flaring up again or whatever. So. Uh, it's really important to me, honestly, at this point that I get my car ready for Sunday, even if I have to take a day off to do it, because I feel like this might be the last hurrah, like maybe we'll run and if stuff really hits the fan, I may not get to run the car again for the rest of the year if things really go south. So um, it's important that I go and hopefully have at least a, this much fun if I can. We'll continue with the Winnebago, painting it the whole nine. We'll do that. I'm really be bummed, uh, but I don't think I'm going to... I don't know. I'm not going to jinx myself, but I have a feeling just like I had a feeling last time with LS Fest West. And um, so with that being said, if things go south, shit, it's fan, everything gets shut down, we're all locked down, um, and it all goes to hell in a handbasket, what are some options? What do you guys think? What would you like to see me do with the Twin Bag? If I can't take it out um, to a show and show people and try to take it down the drag strip and just be a goofball with it, 
We're going to finish the damn thing anyway. It's got to get done because it's my family's rig. It's not just for racing. If you guys are wondering, we're going to do the floors and uh, my wife's ordering some more material and stuff and like a little futon for the bed on the inside. And I got a generator sitting right here I bought that I haven't um, played with yet. But I don't know. Toss me some ideas. What do you guys want to see? Besides the John, John Force burnout, we're going to try to do that anyway once it's all painted and pretty. Um, besides that, I mean, there are locations. Um, I have some fun ideas with it. I mean, I guess we can just go troll like other motorhomes on the freeway with it. Uh, if there's destinations, maybe I can go end up somewhere. I thought going to see the dinosaurs in California, if they don't lock that down, that'd be kind of fun. They have like these big sculptures. My boy, we kind of like that. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. Also, um, any races that are somewhat local, like attainable, Arizona-ish bordering states, Nevada, um, I don't know how everybody, the rest of the world is doing. I mean, you can look up the internet, but you guys actually live in other parts of the country besides California. I just know what we're doing and basically they're locking us back down is what it sounds like. So uh, if there's other events, if there's something maybe, you know, in a few months or whatever that might be, I don't know. I mean, September is when that thing was supposed to be ready to roll. So roughly by then, but I guess by the time September comes, I mean, that's month nine out of 12, so we're almost kind of toast, and then everybody else gets weather. California doesn't, so I don't know. If you guys have any bright ideas or something that'd be cool, something you guys would like to see and enjoy, um, maybe we'll go ahead and just try to plan on doing that. And then same thing with racing for the car. If the car gets put back together and I can run it Sunday, uh, I still have the racket opinion that we are going to do on the car. I'm skipping it right now because, like I said, if I rip the front end out and I can't get aligned, I can't get it to the track on Sunday, and they have the race... And then they have zero racing after this. It's just like the last race of the season kind of deal. I'm not missing it because I pulled you know, a bit off more than I could chew. Um, and at this point, spending an entire afternoon chasing an axle seal doesn't give me a warm and fuzzy feeling. Um, ripping my whole steering out when the steering actually works right now. So we're going to have fun this Sunday. And then we'll blow the front end apart. Because after Sunday, there's nothing that I have to look forward to with the car anyway. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that. But yeah, so I've got a generator. Um... I pretty much just have to kind of secure the lines in the Twinnebago. She's ready to rock and roll other than I need to save up for tires. And then I was just going to screw off this week with my car, have a little fun, and then just go gangbusters on the Twinnebago. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, that's still the plan. So I'm just concentrating on the car to get it running and driving. Have a little fun with it, hopefully. And then the nice thing is my car's been stuck in the driveway for quite a while. Um, so if it runs and drives, I could put it back in the backyard which means we have more room to move the Twinnebago. I can put that on the concrete, really check for any leaks because it'll obviously drip on the concrete, we'll see it. And then when I crawl under it right now, it's been in the rocks, on the dirt. And although I have gotten in and out and dropped the pump and done all that fun stuff, I'd really rather do it on the concrete um, than in the gravel. So a little more fun. Well, it's not fun, but at least I don't have to lay in the dirt to fix the Twinnebago, at least stuff underneath. I got wiring and stuff too, I gotta make a shield uh, for all the connections and stuff. There's a lot of um, relays and stuff that are actually underneath from the Terminator X because of the way the harness is routed. So I'd like to make some plates and cover some things to make it roadworthy. But that's kind of besides the point. We're dwindling down other than custom stuff. Another thing too, I guess I'll share with you guys, tomorrow is the big day. So by the time you guys are watching this, I've got a guy coming out to make a custom grill. Uh, his name is Jerry. He's been doing it for a long time. He makes custom grills. He's worked for a bunch of different shops, a lot of custom everything from what I understand. I looked through his Instagram. My father-in-law actually knows the gentleman personally. So he's going to pay me a house call and he's excited about helping me out on this thing. So that is cool because I was gung-ho to do it. My father-in-law kept pushing me off, but it was because he had this guy in his back pocket and was like, no, we'll just use Jerry and, and he will, he'll do a bang up job and everything. So I will leave it to a grill professional. I'm not above taking somebody's help. We will give him credit where credit is due. I'm definitely going to have my input. But if he's got some solid ideas and the, and the dude's the man when it comes to doing that stuff, I will step to the side and we'll work on the visor and then I will get to prepping because that's what I need to be doing, scraping all that ugly ass glue off that thing and making the windows open and function. Um, and then I want to put this generator, I got one of these little 2200 Harbor Freight inverter generators and I've seen on the YouTubes that if you start the fan and then the compressor, it'll run a rooftop AC, I'm hoping. So we'll get up there, serve the AC, make sure it looks decent and then figure out how to wire this in. So I gotta pull the old generator out, figure out how to get this boy wire, wired into the panel to at least kick the AC. And then the rest of the inside innovations, we can do it in style and burn like a gallon of gas and do it in the AC the whole day, which would be awesome. So those are kind of the motorhome things we look forward to. 
Um, as far as the Malibum, try and take it out Sunday. If I could sneak in a dyno session, I'd really like to. We, we're on Project Chernobyl. We've got no intercooler, no blow off valve, all party. So, um, yeah, that's what we're doing with that. Everybody keeps asking about IATs and they're leaving power on the table. And I understand everybody's concern. I just want to see what happens. And if we can just make it work and turn it up till it makes enough power to where we're good, because I'm on an itty bitty baby tire, then I can't make work at 600. So if I could get back to, I made 640 on 12 pounds, uh, we're fine. We're around the ballpark. I mean, if we can turn it up a little bit and make some more, we'll see where we can go with it. But I'd like to be, I've never put that car in like 20 pounds of boost. So if we can party somewhere around there, um, I feel the extra five pounds of boost that'll make up and negate all the uh, super high IATs. And then I just have a hot side and then a less hot side. That's all we're running in there. How to next power, right? So we'll find out and see how it does. And then um, I'd like to switch that out before we go with any sort of intercooler or meth or anything, any assistance. I'd like to just change the hot side from a T4 to a T6 at some point. And then it'd be readily available. I could literally just change it, say the T4 spool better or whatever, but I'd like to put the big boy. So my theory I'll let you guys in on is I think a big unrestricted turbo isn't really gonna back it up, back the exhaust up too bad. And I think if you kind of get the exhaust through the turbo with less restriction and it's not backed up and living in the turbo, I don't think it carries as much IAT over. Uh, I know you guys are gonna say compression, compressing air heats it up. Well, like on a home normal compressor, I run one every day. I'm very familiar with the compressor. Uh, the, the, I spray things and work with air lines all day. That thing's pumping like 150 PSI into that big ass tank through like a, what is it? Three quarter inch line of that. That thing gets smoking hot and you're talking real compression and PSI. But like 10 pounds of compression just doesn't seem like a lot. Like at 10 pounds, it doesn't seem like it should really be heating the shit out of the air. I guess there's probably some mathematic formula. Some genius can let me in on, but you figure even 20 pounds of air pressure, like there's more pressure in a tire, right? There's like 30 PSI plus. Um, my tire doesn't get smoking hot because I filled it up. I mean, I guess maybe it does, but even if you put the air in and you let it out, it's not like burning my hand. So my theory is kind of, you just, if you could take that bottleneck away, you know, and then obviously the more pressure you go, the higher it's gonna get. But I think the longer it lives in that turbo, because that turbo is hot, obviously from the exhaust, um, I think that's where the IATs start going crazy. I could be completely full of shit. That's my theory, and that's why we want to test what the IATs are, how much power it makes the T4, and literally just change just the hot side. See if we can kind of leave the tune alone, see what happens. I mean, if it makes more air, obviously we gotta add the fuel to it. But I'd like to see what effect the hot side has on the IATs. That's kind of why I'm doing this. And if I can make more power, even if it's more boost, now even if I leave power on the table, if I made more with this setup than I did uh, previously, I have less plumbing, less weight, less leaks, less bullshit. And I wanna run Rocky Mountain Race Week and I literally want the, the easiest setup I can get because my plan is to go and swing for the fences and probably have to change parts. Like I figure if, if I'm gonna do that, we'll talk to you guys maybe later on about if I can run some sort of sponsorship deal through here and have people kind of help me and go have some fun. Um, if we're gonna go, we're gonna be like Babe Ruth. We're just gonna swing for the fence. If the thing blows apart, it is what it is. But that's what people wanna see. It's like watching a fight. Nobody wants to watch the fight where the guys hug and like it goes the distance and then the judges go, oh, this guy won. And he's jumping up and down like he did something. They wanna see the Conor McGregor's of the world. They wanna see the Mike Tyson's. They wanna see a Babe Ruth. And that's what I wanna watch. That's the show I'm gonna try to put on. Uh, and the chances of me failing miserably are probably much, much greater than achieving any sort of uh, goal or even just completing it or whatever. But if we swing for the fences like men and we come up short, that's respectable in my opinion, especially if you guys are helping me to get there and put on a show, that's what we're gonna do. So looking forward to that. At least we can kind of start looking to next year, I guess is what I'm gonna do. So I can just keep my attitude up here versus in the gutter where it kind of landed today with all this news going around. But on a bright note, you guys are all in it with me too. It's not like I'm the only guy that can't go do stuff. And uh, just pounding like a little kid for a little bit. Wanted to share you guys, share with you guys where I'm at. And we're still gonna keep trucking moving forward. And on a bright note, I guess, if I don't go to Kentucky, it's gonna save me a boatload of money on fuel and um, uh, tickets. And it was like 4,000 miles round trip. So food and all that expense and being away from home 
if it all gets locked up and canceled, um, the Malibu's just gonna get some upgrades because I really wanna go fast next year at Rock Mountain Race Week. So if we skip Kentucky, I'm taking the Kentucky budget, we're gonna throw it into the Malibu, and um, that will give me some time to even throw some damn paint on the car. The Twinnebago should be uh, painted at some point, but if everything falls through, We'll just strip the, the Malibu. I already got a color picked out. We'll go over all that with you guys or whatever. But um, maybe we'll just put the extra effort into that. And then we can come out swinging next year and, and really break stuff. And then spend the rest of the next year fixing stuff while the track is open and everybody else is having fun. And uh, I blew my wad in my car to pieces. So that's it. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I hope the tracks and stuff are local to you. If your car's running, you can get out and go have some fun. I urge you to go do it. Have fun for me. Film it. Bring it to everybody. Because when I'm sitting here and they lock us all back down, I'm just going to go back and watch Rocky Mountain Race Week videos again and daydream of actually having fun getting out and doing a little racing. And, uh, yeah, using all the parts and all the effort I put in that stupid car sitting out there. So, anyway, you guys wish me luck. I hope to bring you back for a dino day. And if you miss out or we miss that, I really hope to bring you back next week on Tuesday with a racing video. Even if it's a poor one and I don't do good, I'll tell you what, if I just get to make one pass down there that's decent for in, in the whole day, I might the rest of my gear will be set. At least we got to do something, right? You guys, keep it locked. I'm out.